that carrots in my teeth. Mm, I don't know, do I? Let's see. <laughs> Wait, look at me. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Right there, yeah. I get it. Is this on video? No, you didn't. Go brush your teeth. All right, sound is rolling, video's rolling. Teeth are free of carrots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sal. I'm Beth. We are the brewery lovers. Here to tell you about the first big cook in the RV. Is that right? I guess. Mostly we were, mic we're mo mostly microwaving. Microwaving stuff. We don't have an oven. Hey, wait, are you, wait, wait, wait. Are you opening beer? I'm opening beer. Show it to the camera. What are you opening? Wrestling moves. From? Ludlam Island Brewing. Imagine that. You know, people are going to start to think that this whole channel is sponsored. By that would be nice if the channel were sponsored by Ludlam Island Brewery. It is not. <laughs> Are you watching, Bill? Just an idea. Just saying. Wrestling moves. Freshly hatched. This was canned today. It was canned today. today. It doesn't get any fresher than that, folks. Look at it. Wrestling moves is what? Describe it. Um, it's an IPA. It's 7% alcohol. And it's yummy. Yeah, it's really yummy. But it's kind of a New England, right? Hazy? It's very hazy. It's obviously hazy, but... It's funny how, the, here's a cool thing about Love the Mile, that, you know, not to sound like a broken record, but they make a bunch of hazy IPAs, and they're all different. They're all distinct. This one is real fruity in my yep. view. What do you think? Oh, boy. It's a beautiful thing. Kind of a surprise. We actually worked for Love the Mile today, got back to the brewery, and they had just finished up canning. Hey, what'd you guys can? Wrestling moves. <laughs> Wrestling moves. <laughs> Now we're not here to talk about wrestling moves. We're here to tell you about the first time we kind of cooked for real in the RV. We've been doing... That's the kitchen. Two yeah. stovetops, a microwave, and a little tiny sink. And a sink. That's pretty much it. So It's a challenge. It's not a bad challenge, but um, yeah, you just, mostly we use the microwave. There's no roasting involved. We don't have a real oven. No. But, uh, and I gave up my great big Dutch oven. Yeah, that was a nice Dutch oven. You didn't have to give it up. That's okay. That's oh, It's heavy. We've been working farmers, farmers markets. markets for Ludlam Island, selling Ludlam Island at the farmers markets. Of course, the day you took video was the day it was raining and but nobody that, was there but, because that's the day you were available to take video. But it's you're pretty. Not selling beer. It's pretty when the ground is wet like that. Watch next time you see a car commercial. Notice how the ground is wet. Okay. They always do that. See, I know it's, it's that was no accident. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> We're surrounded by this beautiful produce. I mean, our freezer, because we also do Harvest Hosts. Tell them what Harvest Hosts is. Harvest Hosts is um, an organization that we belong to because we're living in an RV. Um, and you stay at farms, breweries, wineries, and Other you things. stay there for free. But you're kind of obligated to buy about $20 worth of merchandise. So we buy a lot of produce, meat, beer. Our We've even bought wine. Our fridge and freezer is filled <laughs> with the most amazing quality food. It's really been kind of cool. A nice fringe benefit of Harvest Hosts. Great, great quality food. Very tiny kitchen. Tiny kitchen. That'll be the subject of uh, in another video. But we're surrounded by this gorgeous... I mean, look at this stuff. Gorgeous produce. And Every week. It's new stuff. A couple of weeks ago, everybody had scapes. Scapes. S-C-A-P-E-S. What the heck is Garlic a scape? Garlic scapes. Garlic scapes. Scape is the garlic plant when it's very young long before it's made in garlic cloves and like any member of the onion family the whole thing is edible so it's kind of like a what did you say like a big chive big chives kind big, of big very big chive or a very small green onion and it's kind of has the flavor blend of both onion and garlic they're really kind of nice and they're beautiful look at them they're like these little cute little green big pigtails so we had to try them so yeah we tried them and in the meantime mary beth one of beth's one of our best friends has a freeze dryer, and she freeze dried pork chops. Really? And give them to you, us. You can freeze dry pork chops because they're really light. They're good to travel with. Yeah, like no weight at all because the the water's kind of gone. You can see they're not like regular pork chops. No, they're solid. So, but you have to re you have to rehydrate everything. You have to rehydrate them. So, what would the brewery lovers rehydrate dried pork chops in? Beer. Yeah. Tell them about the beer. So this is one of my favorites. It's called Devil Goes Down to Maui, and it is an IPA that's made with pineapple and habanero peppers. So it's sweet and spicy and hoppy and awesome. Made by? Ludlam Island Brewing Company. 
Are you sure Love the Mile is not sponsoring this video? <laughs> yeah, and I'm not wearing their t-shirt. It's We're doing right. something wrong because Love the Mile is not sponsoring this video. Okay, that's, that's another topic. Yeah, so habanero pepper, hoppy, sweet, pineapple. Like, that's almost the perfect thing to rehydrate these pork chops with. You have to rehydrate them. As you can see, they're kind of like, what are they? Dehydrated. They're like, uh, they're like chalkboard erasers before you <laughs> hydrate them. So here's the beer going into the pan, pot. We still have that Dutch oven. That's a nice Dutch oven. Of course, you have to try it's it. It's a little one. To make sure quality control is important. But uh, it's, I mean, look at the color of that beer. It's gorgeous. So we marinated it overnight. The next night, we were set up to, like, eat, make it, cook. So what's the first thing you do when you're cooking in your RV kitchen? Any kitchen. Pour yourself a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the first thing we do? Yeah, okay. This is another hot pepper beer. This is River Horses Ignatius Returns, and it's uh, a Mexican lager with lime and jalapeno peppers. Completely different from Maui. Maui is you don't, also great. Yeah, you don't get a lot of with Maui. It's when you the aroma is all fruit. It's this huge hit of pineapple and fruity hops. It's really sweet, and it's pretty sweet because of the pineapple. Because the pineapple is added late. In fact, there's all these warnings on the beer. Don't let this get warm because it'll start fermenting again, and then you have problems. But the, how do you say it? The river horse? Ignatius returns. Ignatius returns. When you put that to your nose, it's like you just cut a fresh green jalapeno pepper. It's just this intense and aroma. And lime. And lime, yeah. Completely different beers. And you can really find some interesting beers that have chili peppers in them. You know, who knew? So here's the pork chops, uh, kind of sort of rehydrated. And, of course, we had to chop them up first. By we, I mean Beth. I'd never worked with meat this consistency before, so I thought I'm going to pay attention to detail and cook it really thoroughly. So a little sesame oil in the pan. Chops go in. And look at that. Hey, look at that little overhead shot. like the, Just like the Food Network. And the smell was amazing. Of course, in the RV, you have to cover up the smoke alarm because if you cook and the, there's alarms smoke go alarm. off. <laughs> That's looking pretty good, I got to admit. And it smelled amazing. Too bad YouTube doesn't have smell of vision but it is what it is. So we got them all heated up. We got them ready to go. And then, as luck somebody would have it, somebody said, said, Do you want to come over? Hey, why don't you guys come over for dinner? <laughs> okay. Day three. You, you don't need three days to make these pork chops, I promise. However, day three, hence the wardrobe change. What do you do on the... What do you do when you're starting to cook in your RV? Pour, a Pour beer. yourself a beer. We also got these gorgeous snap peas at the market. They were really nice. Here's the scapes. Kind of get a shot of them there. Like little, little green, fresh, verdant pigtails. They're really beautiful. There's Sal getting into the act. Heating up the oil. The snap peas go in, the scapes go in. It was a good good combination because scapes and snap peas cook very quickly, so we didn't have to worry about that at all. Pork chops go in, just they were already cooked. They just needed to be heated up. Here's our our banquet of two <laughs> setting. We have two plates. Two plates, two cups, mm -hmm. two forks, two spoons. Well, we have two big plates and two small plates. These are the big plates. But... It's really kind of pretty, isn't it? It's very pretty. Yeah. It's like a kind of, uh, fresh produce, Jersey Fresh, green thing happening. David Rosengarten would approve. He would approve. <laughs> Whatever happened to David Rosengarten? Who knows? <laughs> Hopefully he's watching. He'll give us a call. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and that collard bread. Holy cow. We should tell them about Toby. Oh, so Toby's a baker. Our next door neighbor at one of the markets makes the most amazing bread you ever had in your life. It it's was, like eating cotton candy. That day it that melts it, in your mouth. That day that it rained, she didn't sell much bread because there wasn't anybody around. So she just walked around at the end of the day and was handing out collard bread. And we're like, we don't eat bread. We really don't. We we, we drink, drink our, our carbohydrate. Oh my god! But and it we, was somehow beautiful we made and it, wonderful. And somehow we made it last well, a, a good week or more. Yeah, we didn't we didn't eat it all at once, but it was so fresh that it was okay. Of course, you know you have to have a candle, right? Ambiance. <laughs> what? 
This isn't enough ambiance for you? We live in a van down by the river. <laughs> and uh, well, naturally, you need something to drink beer. to wash down the pork chops. You need a little bit of beer. What were we? Was that the Ignatius? I don't remember. No, I think we had um, Maui with that. Was, that. I was that Maui went that down night. To Maui. Okay, we so had we it with it. marinated so it. Was, it. Go ahead. The same beer that we marinated the pork chops Yeah, we in. marinated it in the Maui, and then that kind of makes sense. Good pairing. You were going to talk about Julia Hers's book. Speaking oh, of pairing. yeah, because, like... Show that to the camera, please. This is the coolest book. Um, if you're trying to figure out what beer to have with what food, Julia Hers and Gwen Conley. Julia Hers Julia, is... Julia, we've spoken to. Julia so. Hers is the director of the American Homebrewers Association. If you, if you missed it, we interviewed her on in another uh, channel, and in the run up to that and doing the research we discovered that she had written this co-written this book and, and it is the quintessential book for it, it was such a food it was such beer. a wonderful moment because in the middle of that interview we were talking about um stout and oysters right probably and i said so we're testing we were i was writing a piece about stout and oysters so we were trying oyster things and oyster that and pairing them with stout and that the just by happenstance beth was making chocolate chip cookies because beth is always making chocolate chip cookies and these chocolate chip cookies come out of the oven they're they're warm i had my stout my irish stout out guinness in a nitro can and i took a bite of a chocolate chip cookie and washed it down with guinness it was like oh my god yeah, an epiphany. <laughs> it was so good so then i told julia that story and julia goes well here's the reason and she just outlined you know she's, all the stuff like the, right on the top of her head scientific reason why they go together so yeah look at that video it's fun anyway we're cross promoting but that's what we do uh back to uh dinner in the rv boy that's a nice looking beer isn't it it's a beautiful beer in our cute little rv and a postcard view out of our pretty dining room window sky and, and there it goes. perfectly lit as if I planned that. <laughs> I didn't. Yay for sunshine. <laughs> they were really good. I really like those scapes. As I said, kind of uh, garlic and onion somewhere in between. Not neither or, but really nice. What else? That's it. Is that, are we done? Yep. Thank you for the wrestling. So meat. try the scapes. Yes, try the scapes. When you see them at your farmer's market. No mention of Trogues, however. Trogues is not sponsoring this video either right no. we got trogues and river horse here yeah love these, the island these beer. are our glasses it's kind of local hershey pa yeah it's not far all right, all right cheers. cheers don't forget to subscribe <laughs>